Ladies and gentlemen, this is a historical moment for us because we are going to present for you a revolutionary technology which is going to be a pretty new for everyone and makes quite big changes in the audio world. This technology is going to be a revolutionize the whole audio system which are now in existence. Our technology is based on the real principles of the nature's law of physics. We named this technology Soliton. Where this name came from? It is an ancient Latin from two words. Soli means stand alone or alone. Tone is a pulse or wave. Together is a stand alone wave or pulse. Why we named our technology after this propagational form? This propagational form is much better than the conventional transversal propagational form because it has no attenuation, is a self-reinforcing pulse, and during the travel from A to B at a constant speed maintains its shape without suffering any kind of damages and therefore this will not change over time. This is a soliton. These properties of the propagational form gave us the inspiration to develop this technology. You may ask how long should it take took for us? Shame on us it is more than 25 or more 30 years back, backward in time when we have started to develop this technology. But now, without any prudy, we can say that we succeeded and we have a such equipment, such tool in our hand, which is able to handle the audio signal without any distortion. What was the historical background? Let's go back 140 years in the past. The time is 1831 when young Michael Faraday discovered and also stated the relationship between electric and magnetic field and many other things as well. 20 years later in 1851 Mr. Henry Lentz observed the same effect like in Kinetics, Sir Isaac Newton, action, reaction. He also observed and stated in electrodynamics as well. 20 years later, however, today commonly known, the Maxwell equations, dedicated wrongly to James Clerk Maxwell, originally this equation is formulated by a young very talented physicist and mathematician, Oliver Heaviside. So these equations, in fact, Heaviside equations, who has simplified those 20 variables into four equations. And also he made and put down the basics of vector analysis. More known name, John Pointing, the Pointing Vector, he, independently from Mr. Oliver Heaviside, formulated and made the vector analysis as well. Today, at the universities, the pointing vector is very well known and commonly taught. And the fifth person who also gave us very good backgrounds and inspirations is Mr. Nikola Tesla, who has experimented with solitary propagation and that was a lot of help to us to develop this technology and apply to audio line. And let's jump 100 year forward into our history. This technology is developed by a research engineer and a theoretical physicist who is responsible for the theory, 
development, refinement of the soliton technology, and two brothers who are responsible for manufacturing and testing of the products. Why soliton technology and not conventional technologies which are now in existence? Let's go into the comparison chart. Propagation form in existence, the transversal is used in existing technologies. Soliton technology uses solitary propagational form. The second line is much more interesting, the land slow. The existing technologies more or less badly violate the land slow. Soliton technology does not. And that is a very big difference. Because of it, the distortion exists with the transversal propagational form, but with soliton technology, distortion does not exist. Faraday cage, the transversal propagational form is captured, a solitary propagation freely penetrates it. Availability. Existing technologies are in the shops and worldwide you can buy them. There is only one weakness for the soliton technology. It has to be created, but we do know the way how to do that. Let's take a look from the soliton glasses how the whole audio chain behaves. Everything basically starts with a microphone. The microphone, however, it is commonly known and available in different forms. This is the first step when uh, air pressure we are going to change into electromagnetical impulse version. This is a very important line, very important link because if we at that point fail, we cannot recover the distortion that we have already got through the microphone. So the microphone has to be solitonized from inside to receiving the signal and also to sending out to the mixing console via cables. Also the microphone cable and mixing console has to be solitonized, all those receivers, preamps, processing units, and also the AC side, which is very important, because mostly we do know that the AC, or just commonly known power supply, is power supply. We have also developed a unit which we call DIC, this is for using an external way to solitarize the propagational form of the energy. This makes possible that the loss cannot occur during the power supply when it's coming or going into the unit what we are going to use. Let it be mixing console or recording unit or etc. Players, amplifiers, cables also has to be designed in from inside according to the Soliton technology. Also the loudspeaker, which now are available in two forms, passive and active, and do they mostly build up similar kind of drivers like this in my hand. But here one thing we can reveal that 100% in the market you can find this kind of smaller or bigger drivers. There you can see in the mid a dust protector cap. This is wrongly done like this unit has because this capsule formulates a chamber and when this coil is moving there is a lens 
laws violation immediately. So this is absolutely wrongly designed driver and all those which has this kind of cap in the middle of the cone. So every each unit from the microphone up to the tweeters, the drivers, including the cables and power supply systems must be uphold the law of lands. Other otherwise, if we do violate the lands law, it will be punished. The punishment like a result, distortion and losses. So all the units involved from the microphone to the speaker cabinets, let it be conventional system, passive or active, line arrays must be fulfilled 100% on the basement of the lens low. Otherwise, we cannot succeed the distortionless transmission of the signal. Some commonly asked questions, how we do answer through the soliton glasses. Many times they are asking on the forums, on the websites, AC or DC. Both are good or both are wrong. It doesn't matter. You have to propagate the energy packages as it has to be from A to B because there is a sending, propagating and receiving step. So this is A, B, C. So all the way you have to have and you have to maintain the strict demand of the solitary propagation and then you cannot say I have bad DC or I had, have a bad AC. It's absolutely the same if we do uphold the rules. Many times still commonly asked question analog or digital. Let me say one one o one 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 o o o o. Can you understand? This is a binary system. And this? 1776. Much more understandable, especially for Americans. This, that was the year, 4th of July, when they became independent. Both numbers are understandable if we are able to decode. So there is basically no difference between. This is the first one is binar, the second one is decimal. So what? Once when I've served on the net and music forums, there was a very good question, very good topic from a user. It sounded this way. Why do digital cables sound different? He has asked many experts on the forum. He made tests, A-B tests with digital cables. He was told that we are transferring from A to B zeros and ones, isn't it? Basically is. But when you are using cables, which are mostly made of metals, we are in the world of electromagnetical propagational forms. So therefore, every each signal is analog. There is no digital. Digital is just the understanding, the decoding. That is digital. But the propagational form, the signal always was, is and going to be analog. So first of all, you must uphold the electromagnetical laws all details, otherwise you will fail in analog and digital as well. Fields mentioned in the abstract, balanced or unbalanced, if we are, go if we are going to the word of studio. For us, it is absolutely the same if we do use balanced XLR or RCA and balanced systems. There are, in both cases, there are certain criterias 
which you must uphold, you must fulfill. And if you do fulfill in a balanced and unbalanced world systems, then you will not have any problem. But if you are mixing them and you are violating those laws, those rules, then you will face with a lot of problems, especially hum, buzz, noise, and etc. Earth loop, ground loop, and et, uh, other things are going to appear. Also, in a studio environment and uh, in a concert sound, there is a question how to ground the grounding. Thanks to Soliton technology, we can choose. We have a possibility. We have a choice to use grounding or non-grounding. That is a new feature which is offered by the Soliton technology. The transversal systems must use grounding. Soliton technology does not need it. Working environment, PC, digital, audio, workstation or something else. Just, I can repeat, there is only one criteria. You must uphold the rules of the electromagnetic propagation that from A to B, the signal, the impulse cannot be suffered. If it suffers, then you will lose, so the distortionless signal processing cannot be done. Many times today, people are using hardware and software mixture, software or hardware. Of course, the hardware is most important thing because if you do not have a good equipment and it's of the equipment violates the land's law, you cannot recover with software. Also, if you have a good hardware, but your software makes some tricky changes into the sound, also can be wrong. However, the hardware is correct. Other question about the audio signal or audio. When audio is metadata and when is not. Let's say when we have a CD, SACD, Blu-ray or similar kind of formats, these are special metadata. But when we are grabbing it into the PC or Mac, into computer, then we are using energy and you are, we are using hardware. So we must uphold during the propagational time, during the copying process, all those laws, all those rules, which is demanded by the electromagnetic propagational equations set by Heaviside. In a studio environment and also in a concert sound, many times engineers, sound engineers facing with noise, hum, buzz, and ground loops, earth loops, and so on. These unwanted things. Why these are appearing? These are the signs that your system in whole or partially violates the land slow. That's why hum, buzz, noise and so on things are appearing in your system. Let it be recording in a studio environment and let it be live sound, front of house system or control monitoring system at the concert. These are the marks, these are the signs that your system somewhere violates badly or not badly the land slow. Some new thing, what we have succeeded with our experimentations, that we can produce 3D holophonic sound for cinematography. That is not absolutely new, because dummy head recording was in existence for a couple of 10 years, but now we are able to do it without any distortion, and the experience, experience is Remarkable, the illusion is perfect. You can sense everything in 360 degrees. Everything can be identified uh, what level 
behind you, lower than your listening level or higher of your head. The source is coming, so the illusion is really good. Soliton not only concerns the units, the links are used in audio systems, but also concerns the instruments which are using electromagnetical propagational or generating uh, sources are related somehow to electric systems. These are the synthesizers, electric guitars and bass guitars. So all of them has to be solitonized, including the pickups and so on. So if you are interested in our technology, please feel free to contact us on the following internet address. We are ready to answer your questions and this presentation is made for commercial purposes. We are searching for partners whom together we can work out a fruitful, prosperous business because we want this technology to be on the market. We want to make people happy, especially those who are interested in the live sound and they are going to concerts and they want to enjoy those stars, favorite pr presenters, entertainers, not just like a show, also involving including a perfect distortionless audio. So thank you for your attention and please feel free to be in touch to us. Thank you.